everyone! So today's video is going to be about some new tips and tricks for when you're starting to play Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been playing for a few days now and I've come across some things to keep in mind while playing. If you guys want to check out more Animal Crossing videos on my channel, please check out my playlist below. I've also uploaded journaling videos about my new island as well. And if you guys want regular updates, then please also check out my Instagram and Twitter, which I will leave a link to in the description box. So tip number one, when you start crafting items, you're going to need some tree branches. So you can get these from your trees, but make sure when you shake your trees that you do this multiple times. So every day I would recommend going around to each of your trees and shaking the items out of them to get lots of supplies. The next tip I have for you is to do with the rocks on your island. So each day make sure to hit these with a shovel and items will appear. You will need quite a lot of iron nuggets early on in the game and this is the way that you can get them. So to get the max amount of items per rock, make sure that you dig two holes either side of you so that when you hit the rock you don't get pushed back and it allows you to get the maximum number of items per rock. Also on your island one rock will be like a money rock which will give you bells instead of the items. Also if you eat some fruit you can go back and hit the rock to destroy it and get additional items. I wouldn't recommend doing this on your island as it could take quite a while for another rock to respawn. Also, if you're running low on iron nuggets, use your Nook Miles tickets to visit a random island and farm the rocks there. In this case, definitely eat some fruit and destroy that rock for an additional item, as you can continue visiting different islands all the time with your Nook Miles tickets. Next up are some tips that you should be doing regularly to earn some bells and help pay off your home loan. So make sure to collect the shells on your beach and sell these to Timmy and Tommy for some easy bells. The giant clams are worth around 900 bells I think, so they're quite worth picking up and selling them. Also try not to sell your fish and bugs immediately as you want to give these to Blathers to help fill up your museum. But once you have one of each, definitely go around and sell these for some more bells. Another source of bells is this glowing spot that is found on your island. If you walk over and dig it up using your shovel, this should be around a thousand bells. I've also seen that if you replant this bag of money, a new tree will grow with some bells on it. So also some cute things that I've noticed while I've been playing is that your villagers will actually walk around and try to catch bugs. I saw Coach doing this the other day, but he wasn't able to catch it and he actually got a bit sad. Also, just like the previous games, you can hit your villagers with your bug net. They do get upset with you, but you can apologize to them like this. I also wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite fish that I caught. I got this huge sunfish and was so shocked by how big it was. I had a lot of fun bringing this to my friend's islands and like showing it off with everyone. And it turns out um, it kind of glitches a little bit so you can look like you're actually standing in the fish. Also with the sunfish, the fish is actually so big when you place it on your island, it doesn't even fit in a tank or anything like that. It's just in this giant container, which I thought was pretty funny. I also caught this hammerhead shark, which was another huge catch and also a snapping turtle. And the cool thing about the snapping turtle is that once you put it down on the ground, it doesn't actually sit in a cage or a tank, it just sits by itself. So I've put this one in my home and he's become my little like pet turtle. Also just a quick tip for fishing, if something is blocking you and you can't quite see the river, like a tree is in the way or your character, try moving the camera angle using your right joystick to see more of an overhead view. This can be really useful as you can see more of your island and you'll be able to catch the fish a lot easier. Also another tip for you guys, if you see a balloon floating past with a present attached, make sure that you don't pop it anywhere close to the river as sometimes it will fall in just like this and you'll lose the present. So make sure it's pretty far away from a river if you can, and then you can get the items. I've got a couple of them before, and I got some dresses and also this gothic headdress, which I really like the design of. And now finally, I wanted to show you guys how you can make some face paint. So I've seen some people get really creative with this tool and even make like eyebrows and freckles. So to start, you'll need to make the whole square transparent by using the fill all tool. Scroll over to the last color option, which is the transparent one. And then you can fill in your design however you want. So there's already a couple of pre-made options for like hearts and stars. So here is a small sign that I made, but I really do like the little heart on my cheek, so I've kept that one for a while now. So that is everything for today's video. Let me know in the comments how you're progressing with your island. Do you have the museum yet or do you have any new villages? Make sure to check out more of my Animal Crossing videos in my playlist, which I'll leave linked in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoy watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!